There are several ways to play smart defense without being called for a foul. Take advantage of using your hands with a pro stick. If you hold the right stick up, your player will hold their hands up. This is good for deflecting passes as well as bothering some shot attempts. If you move the pro stick left or right, you will move your hands to play the passing lanes and hopefully deflect a pass for a steal. If you want to contest a shot without fouling, move towards the offensive player attempting the shot and flick the pro stick up quickly. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Milwaukee Bucks. At shooting guard, Dante DiVincenzo. At center. At the other guard, Drew Holiday. At small forward, Chris Middleton. At the other forward, Giannis Antetokounmpo. The head coach of the visiting team is Mike Budenholzer. up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thank you. Chris Middleton has been underrated for so long that now is he rated? Giannis Adentacupo said, people don't know how much Chris has sacrificed for this team to be great. He could easily be a 25-point-per-game scorer in the league, but he just wants to win. He knows that by doing that, everything else is going to take care of itself. Kevin? Well, he's an all-star teammate, David, as you point out in that story. Thank you. And a chance here to check out some stamps for Jordan Poole. And, guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Longtime teammates Middleton and Giannis, the forwards. At the guard positions, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And it's Portis in at the center position. And for the Warriors. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with James Weissman. Some talent for sure in the backcourt tonight. Greg, did, did it ever add anything for you playing across from another top-level guard? It always raises the stakes, and you want to rise to that challenge. But in the end, it all comes back to winning as a team. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. A three-pointers right on target. Yeah, that's just working for the better shot. We always talk about in the NBA, good to great, great possession there. 
Giannis inside. Yes. Working on green. And Giannis gets it to go. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Outside, green to the inside. Golden State moving it around. Just five on the clock. Here's Curry with the three. Even Genzo with the rebound. Out to Dekumbo against Green. Giannis, no good. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Curry passes to Wiseman. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Outside Holiday. Back to Giannis. Shot clock at six. For three, Middleton. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Well, he's accurate from behind the arc, and there's a reason why Chris Middleton takes a good amount of three-pointers. Wiseman dishes to Wiggins. Outside, Green. And Green slams it in. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Here's Holiday. He played real well against Atlanta in that last game. And Middleton kicks to Holiday. Over Green. The shot by Holiday, no good. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And Holiday just does so much on the floor. But for me, defense is his number one attribute. He, he's arguably the best perimeter defender in the league. Nice shot by Thompson. Just such a confident score seeing Clay get into these areas on the floor and still being effective. Got to appreciate that part of his game. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Last game he had 12. Curry against Holiday. Warriors with the rebound. Holiday, an elite defender, Greg, as you said, makes life difficult for opposing guards. And he does a great job of playing deep with his feet. Comes up with some blocks and steals each game as well. Never gets lost on a play. Antetokounmpo passes to DiVincenzo. Right side out of the Kumbo. Over Green. Misses off the left eye. And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. And finished off by Weissman. And just caught the thing there by surprise. Wow. Love that Weissman. Goes for the big air on the alley -oop. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Portis kicks to Holiday. Loads it up for Giannis. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Up top, Curry. He's now one for two with that bucket. Every time they get scored on this run, it's come from inside the paint. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Well, something, Greg, we can't take for granted. It's nice just to see Klay Thompson out on the floor. No doubt, Kevin. And you know, the NBA is, is just a better game with a healthy Clay Thompson. Makes this team more fun to watch. Good for humor and, and one incredible performance a year. It's stolen by Green. Pass to Curry. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got his second bucket of the night. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Antetokounmpo looking it over. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. And dropping the sledgehammer there. He curbs a 10-0 run by the Warriors. Pass to Thompson. Wiggins with it. It's tipped. Heisman. That one misses. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough 
to keep him out of reach. And watching former Villanova star Dante DiVincenzo, he plays with such energy. I think Coach Budenholzer did a really good job with Dante in telling him the way that you're going to get on the floor is to be active on defense. And once you do that and you start earning minutes, the offense will come. And that's how Dante has gained this kind of confidence. Throw drop for DiVincenzo. And at this point late in the season, Brent, any danger that contenders that might be coasting can't flip the switch for the playoffs? I, I don't think so, Kevin. There's a lot of talk about you want to be hot going into the playoffs. And, you know, I've looked at numbers like that where the teams who have gone in, even teams who have won the championship have been 500 in their last 14 or 15 or 16 games. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's just a matter of experience. And those teams that have it, they understand the tempo with which they can play before they head into the postseason action. Now oh, here's Wiggins. And he really played well against Denver. DiVincenzo kicks to Holiday. Bucks passing it around. Giannis inside. He's covered by Thompson. Warriors leading by four. And there's the pass to Wiseman. On its way from Curry for two. That one a little long. The Bucs have got three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. For three, Middleton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Warriors have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Wiseman, no good. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight try to avoid the end one and this time they're not backing off and, and if you're the guy who has to guard him it is never going to be an easy night for you and look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Warriors one shot so far these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets they've also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Bielitsa, he checks in for Wiseman. Little comes in for Tremont Green. Pools checked in for Wiggins. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Curry. That's good from Adetokounmpo. Well, the efficiency of Giannis Brent is simply out of this world. Well, I think the amazing part, Kevin, is that he's still trying to expand his game, and yet he's continued with that efficiency. I mean, an MVP being able to do something like that, that's special. Now, here's Thompson. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Allen. It's rebounded by Peyton. Warriors leading by four. Here's Thompson. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Lopez outside. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. So it's the Bucks now. Bounce pass on Antetokounmpo. Allen for three. Warriors with the rebound. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, it was probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work. But the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building not in a good mood. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for the Bucks. Antetokounmpo comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Cousins, the pass to DiVincenzo. And he drives in, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Milwaukee the shooting the their fourth and fifth shots Dante at the foul line DiVincenzo. in the game. At the line for two.
throw drops for DiVincenzo. So he makes both from the line. The Warriors have gone 7 of 15 from the field at this point. Pass to Thompson. Now Poole. No good on the triple. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. Ball movement by Milwaukee. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Pass to Little. And here is Poole. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. The elite is very good at having his feet at the ready to shoot it. Bucks trail by three. There's the lob at Macumbo, stolen by Thompson. Pool on the wing, defended by Allen. There's the pass to Thompson. And another three for Golden State. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Allen passes to DiVincenzo. Passes it to Cousins. Back to DiVincenzo. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Little dishes to Peyton. Pass to Poole. This one for three. Another three for Golden State. They're great outside shooting. Really fueling this run. Peyton against DiVincenzo. Inside, here's Allen. The shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. They lost the last time they faced the Bucks. That one in Milwaukee. And it's going to come down to effort tonight. Last time they met each other, they were demolished on the boards and that rebounding difference led to a sizable loss well let's see if the lesson was learned from that loss if they come out with the same type of effort they can expect a similar result here now here's pool he has six and that basket's gonna count folks against the goaltending call right there yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the game right now. One shot. And the Bucks with possession here, trailing by 10. They've been looking at a sink offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Timeout called the Bucks. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Well, and that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a group. Yeah, I love watching that game, and in particular, their demeanor in their destruction in that game. And Cousins can't do out of the Kumbo. Pass to DiVincenzo. Cousins dishes to out to Kumbo. Now the pass to DiVincenzo. Knocked loose. Just five to shoot. Out to Kumbo. Passes to DiVincenzo. With one on the clock. And Cousins throws it down. Well, he's got quickness and he's got that frame where he's going to lean on you with that body and find a way to get an angle to score. 
Now, here's Poole, defended by Allen. Great open look there. Thompson's got eight points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Passes it to Connaughton. Now Cousins. He's covered by Bielita. And Cousins gets it to go. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react. And that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Peyton against DiVincenzo. Shoots from the baseline. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. The Warriors shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group. Only around 75%. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Uh, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Holiday's checked in. And the second free throw, good. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. Allen looking at his point production he averages almost 11 points a game and that one's good from Connaughton and he likes to get in a rhythm early nice triple on the wing Wiggins he lobs it up stolen away nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there it's Allen on the wing there's 18 seconds left here in the first quarter and they double up Cousins launches it that's good from Allen on the assist by Cousins. Now, just a four-point Warrior lead. Yeah, in this offense and in this structure, there's going to be opportunities to get a lot more assists for Cousins. A three-pointer. Wiggins, a free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. The Warriors on top. They lead by four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And as we know, the great ones make those around them better. It's certainly the case with Giannis Antetokounmpo. I'm a lot more comfortable. Uh, it's because my teammates trust me. My team trusts me to make the right play. And, you know, lately, late uh, in the game, I'm just trying to make the right play. That can be a pass. Uh, that can be a shot. But that's my mindset down the stretch. Hmm, not predetermined. He's reading the defense and then responding accordingly. Well, it starts with getting downhill. The defense has to build a wall to keep him away from the rim. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you grade them? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly when you do it. That's the kind of thing that happens. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Holiday out there with Allen. And it's Connaughton in at the three slot. Eisman's checked in for the Warriors. Green comes in for Little. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Chris Middleton's checked in for Allen. Here's Curry. <laughs> And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. How about the focus? Steph going on the inside, has great numbers as a finisher. The gravity is very, very real, and Steph Curry has the most of any NBA player right now. line for the Dubs, Stephen Curry. One shot.
Brent, when you talk about the gravity of Curry, explain what you mean. Well, Kevin, any time that he's on the floor, when he crosses half court, all five defenders are paying attention to where Steph is. The more he moves, the more he shifts around the incredible attention of all five defenders. And when guys make one misstep, or you have two defenders make one misstep to carry their way to where Steph Curry is, it opens up easier opportunities on any possession. That's what we're talking about when we speak on Steph's gravity. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, with the addition of Drew Holiday, this Bucks team has gotten even better. Giannis Antetokounmpo said, we've got a lot of talent and great players. I really believe in this group. As long as we stay healthy, we'll find a way to compete every night and give ourselves a chance. Guys? David, they're stacked, that's for sure. Thanks. Here's Middleton. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They've led by as many as 11 points. And Poole gets it to go. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Pass to Connaughton. Back to Holiday. Makes it off the glass. That's a show of strength from Holiday. Certainly looks like he got hit as well, but he possesses the focus necessary to sink the shot. Throws it up high and stolen by Portis. And Connaughton has it in the corner. He kicks to Middleton. From past the arc, the shot will not fall. So Golden State will take it the other way. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. And that's game two of this string of four games played at home. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Pass to Middleton. Let's the three fly. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Back to Curry. On deep. Rebound, Milwaukee. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Wiggins passes to Poole. Outside for Curry. Six to shoot. Missed inside. Bucks trail by six. Antetokounmpo passes to Middleton. Back to Antetokounmpo. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. Really on the right plate defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. After a whistle, we often see players demanding their coach challenge the call. Greg, were there plays you wish you could have challenged in your career? Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. But the game was just so different back then, and we had other ways of resolving issues and letting the refs know when we maybe didn't appreciate a call. And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. And under Tacumbo, subbed in for Pat Connington. Free throws good from Anadokounmpo. Warriors leading by four. Curry passes to Poole. Back to Curry. From the arc. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Here's Middleton. Weissman with the rebound. Golden State's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Shot from the low block. That shot, no good. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Giannis outside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
That's his and Greg Hannes is such a handful on the offensive end. Defense. You know, teams have no choice but to follow him. And yeah, it is ball. hard because Giannis, Giannis knows how to create ball. contact. Two shots. And refs have started to give him the benefit of the doubt. He'll be getting double-digit free throw attempts for a long time. saw during Giannis Antetokounmpo's first few years in the league went from raw to ridiculous in a hurry. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Grayson Allen's checked in for the Bucks. is no good. Well, Draymond Green holding everybody accountable. We've seen this before. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Third team foul. Curry against Holiday. Now here's Curry. Defense right on him. Shot clock at five. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his and so often, Tremont Green is called the heart of this team. Well, he's been such a great leader since his time at Michigan State. He's out there barking directions to his offensive players. He's out there barking defensive assignments. He's barking at his coach. It just, the list goes on, but that energy is infectious and helps lead his team to greater heights. And that one misses. And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Seven point differential. On the wing, Giannis. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team first player. Love that from the guard position. There's the lob to the hoop. And finished off by Weissman. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Yes. Oh, and out of the Kumbo, hammers it in. That's a nice move on the bounce from Giannis, showing that the tools are getting sharper. Thompson against Allen. The pass to Kerr. Jacks up a three. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists now tonight. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. And Giannis throws it down. It's a huge night for Giannis Antetokounmpo at the offensive end of the floor. That length and athleticism just proving to be too much for any defensive scheme. It's three outside. Another three for Golden State. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And something we've seen the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry, although they've had mixed success. For the Warriors, Bielitsa, he checks in for Wiseman. Little comes in for Green, and Gary Payton has subbed in for Wiggins. The Bucks also with the sub. DiVincenzo's checked in. Anadokounmpo kicks to DiVincenzo. Back to Anadokounmpo. 
The shot from the low post is good. 16 points for Giannis. And amazing to even consider using a box in one of the NBA. Isn't it great? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it did work well in the 2019 Finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Back to DiVincenzo. Bobbed up there for Lopez. It's stolen by Curry. To the middle. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Adetokounmpo. On the wing, DiVincenzo. And a miss there on the triple. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Peyton looking around. And it's Golden State with another. Peyton, the second. Ghana's with it. He had 25 points in the win against Atlanta. I'm not sure in that game if it was him or Dikembe Mutombo out there, guys. I was just hoping to see one finger wave after one of those four blocks. No, no, no. Not today. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And his touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Curry passes to Bialic. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got six assists now in the game. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Guarded by Curry. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut back down to 11. Big bucket there from Lopez. Uh, Lopez down on the inside, getting that soft touch to go. Down low. Bielitsa against Lopez. Five on the clock. He, and it's sent back by Allen. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Milwaukee making a switch. Cousins is checked in. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors dance team. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Just two to shoot. No good from Peyton. The feed to Cousins. Over Little. And the shot is long. Warriors leading by 11. Curry deciding where to go with it. Ball's knocked loose. Over in the corner, Allen. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. Golden State basketball. Pat Connaughton is checked in for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Passes it to Bialic. Curry against DiVincenzo. To the paint. Here's Peyton. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his seventh assist here tonight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Lopez outside, and the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. And the Bucks miss again. Golden State's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. This defense gets a lot scarier when Lopez is blocking shots. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Pools checked in for Curry. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Portis, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. DeMarcus That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from DeMarcus Cousins. Warriors shooting around 60% of the night. Amazing work offensively so far. Bielitsa inside. Cousins is there. Bielitsa misses. 
Milwaukee's gone one of four from three point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Here's Connaughton. He's covered by Thompson. And he trims the lead to single digits. Well, Cousins maybe had his eyes closed there. Looked like he was sleeping. I think he could do that in his sleep. Got to respect him from there. Golden State moving it around. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. Five to shoot. Thompson for the triple. DiVincenzo with the rebound. DiVincenzo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Connaughton kicks to DiVincenzo. Pass to Connaughton. Allen with it. Three-pointer. Score the basket is third after five shots. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. Now here's Poole. Defended by DiVincenzo. From downtown. Offensive rebound. Bielitsa with the bucket. Bielitsa's got nine. These are bonuses. When you get Bielitsa inside to mix it up that way, that helps. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? Just like the ball movement, you know, the drive and kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, we're trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if you can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He had 18 points, two rebounds, and one steal. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They built this lead from the perimeter. We know they have shooters to do it. We know sometimes they play outside in. This is one of those games that's going on by the script. Impressive performance thus far. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the perimeter. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man used to say. Hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get in some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shot. You think they played their best? No way, no way. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. Wiseman's out there with Wiggins. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Aditya Kubo does such a great job of using all he has at his disposal, which is mostly his frame in drawing contact. He's made two of his three attempts at tonight. Aditya Kubo at the line for two. One falls for Thank you. 
And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Now here's Curry. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Clay Thompson has lost two prime years to a torn ACL and then a ruptured Achilles. He says so many athletes have been through this. Andrew. It's just a new set of challenges. With my style of play, I feel I can be effective till my late 30s. I plan on being the all-NBA player I was and won't settle for anything less. Guys, that will be a great comfort to his team. Indeed, and who's going to doubt him? I love his attitude. Undaunted. David, thank you. And Brent, you look at the career of Clay Thompson. He's had improvements every step of the way. Yeah, and he's still just an elite shooter that, because of what Steph does, because of Draymond's unselfishness, Clay is going to add 25 points in the blink of an eye. Uh, that, along with his defense, just make that backcourt something special. And finished off by Weissman. It's an improving skill for Wiggins, moving the ball, but he's focused on improving that aspect of his skill set. To the middle, here's Holiday, and Thompson sends it back. Curry dishes to Thompson. Curry passes to Wiseman. Kicks it to Wiggins. Lock at six. They double team Curry. Pass to Green. A three pointer. Wiggins. That shot misses. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Giannis passes to Holiday. It's rebounded by Golden State. Weisman's got six rebounds now in the game. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Wiggins passes to Weisman. Green breaking loose. Weisman no good. Bucks trail by 10. Donis kicks to Holland. Curry against Middleton. Shoots over Curry. And Middleton, the basket on the assist by Holiday. Middleton's got 10 points. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Curry against Holiday. Wiggins passes to Curry. They double team Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. And again, it's the Warriors missing. For Milwaukee, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since Colin Milwaukee with the break. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. That's just Chris Middleton making a play. Up top, Curry, guarded by Holiday. Here's Green. They grab their own miss. And the rejection by Giannis! to the inside, and the slam dunk by Astacumbo. Giannis bringing it down, using that sensational length to get that finish. Timeout called the Warriors. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Here's Curry. He's got 18. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. For three, gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got 21. The consistency from the distance that Steph shoots at, I think, is one of the more astounding parts of his accuracy from the three-point line. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaking their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. Lopez, who's checked in for Portis. Here's DiVincenzo. And the pass to Middleton. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Weisman. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Bucks trail by seven. Passes to Middleton. Here's Giannis. And onto Takumbo slams it in. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Thompson outside from deep. Milwaukee with the rebound. 
Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Every night, there's something that Giannis does on the floor where you just have to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. Curry passes to Wiggins. Curry with him. Now guarded by Middleton. Lopez inside. Over Wiseman. Antetokounmpo trying to break loose. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut to just one on the basket from Lopez. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Milwaukee. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Well, you add to that, they're block totals tonight. They've been very feisty and active on the defensive end. And he felt the double team coming, quickly located the open man. Here's Holiday. No good on the shot. The Warriors go the other way. Eisman kicks to Curry. Pass to Wiggins. And here's Weisman. Nine points in the game so far. On the wing, Thompson. Down to five on the shot clock. Wiggins finds Curry. From deep three-point range, Anas Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Curry against Holiday. Can't cash in from close range. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. It's Curry outside. Buries it from three-point range. And now a six-point Warrior lead. Where hasn't he scored from? Inside, outside, in between game, driving to the hoop. Steph doing it all right here. Lopez against Wiggins from the left block. Offensive rebound. Warriors leading by six. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Wiseman. Curry's got eight here in the quarter. Well, Wiseman's passing game is a work in progress, but he's smart enough to spot the wide open man there. They've worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Timeout called the Warriors. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Bialica is checked in for Wiseman. Little comes in for Draymond Green. Poole's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Peyton in for Stephen Curry. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just four in the basket from Cousins. Poole, the pass to Peyton. Back to Poole. From 13, can't hit that one. Excellent D there from Allen. Down low, the kick out to Holiday. Pass to Lopez. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got six assists in the game. Peyton passes to Bialitz. again. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got his fifth rebound in this one. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Now, Poole. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. With a tie, Lopez. Here's Holiday. Up again, great positioning on the putback. Lopez has got the game tied up here for the Bucks. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Wiggins drives in, and, and Wiggins thrived as a secondary option. Seems that is the role he's best fit for. His efficiency soared. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And so far this season, it's, it's been average at best at the line. Only 71 percent as a shooter.
first free throw is good. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. Good on both. The Bucks trail. Holiday with it. One of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. Inside. It's by Alitza. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And with Wiggins, he didn't face the same pressure, Greg. It was a huge weight off his shoulders. And that mental aspect impacts players. Wiggins was asked to do less, and as a result, ended up doing more. And Poole gets it to go. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. It's okay to be a kleptomaniac during a basketball game. Look at those steals, totals, a lot of effort on deep in them. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Little dishes to Wiggins. Just five to shoot. And oh, here we go. Lopez has got it. The fast break chance. It's rebounded by Golden State. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And it's Little finishing it off. Well, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. The pass to Lopez. The Bucs working the ball around. It's rebounded by Peyton. Well, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. He leads a finds pool. Back to Bill Yitza. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Brook Lopez. And Bill is a terrific shooter. Big man, Brent with real range, capable of really stretching the floor. Yeah, and I hate to just talk about Bielitsa as a pure shooter, and it's the only thing he does. There have been moments where he can make a play with the ball and, and make some good reads, but it is the shooting strength and the ability to draw out bigger players that really provide the juice from Bielitsa. He misses the free throw. Bielitsa can surprise you at times, not just as a shooter, but pump faking, putting the ball on the deck, and trying to become a playmaker. As long as he's under control, he can do some nice things out there. Green, he's checked in for a little. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Good on the second free throw. Bucks trail by seven. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pope loose. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. Golden State basketball. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Warriors leading by seven. On the wing, Wiggins. No good that time. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Allen kicks to Portis. We've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Misses from short range. And so Green will bring it up for the Warriors. The pass to Bialit. Dishes it to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Green. No dice from the high post. And so it's the Golden State Warriors heading to the bench with a seven point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. Right back after this break.
Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Keep everything sharp. Keep the cuts hard. Cutting through contact. Pass is sharp. And the ball's going to fall for us. We can't give up the easy ones down here. Well, he can tell that he wants his team to be precise with their decision making. Kevin, he's aware of just how special they are when they play smart and play together. The fourth quarter has arrived, so good to have you with us. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter, we've got Allen. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Portis. Then it's Holiday, and it's Connaughton in at the three spot. A tough, tough shot from Draymond Green, but he brings this out of his squad and frustrates the opponent. Allen passes to Portis. The dish to Holiday. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And with Drew Holiday in his defense, Brett, he lets this team get away with things they normally couldn't. Well, Kevin, the one thing that's really great about Drew being able to be switchable in that way is how much more confidence he gives every other defender that's on the floor with him. He takes the toughest guy on offense and he shuts him down. That's good from Holiday. Such a terrific two-way guy. Drew Holiday isn't just an offensive powerhouse. He loves to play defense. I mean, loves it. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Thompson, he's checked in for Jordan Poole. And Curry subbed in for Peyton. The box also changing it up. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Cousins. And Middleton subbed in for Allen. That misses, so he splits the free throws. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Deflects the pass. And that one's good. Green. Green's got four points now in the quarter. Now Draymond's energy, guess what? It's here. It's in the game right now, and he's attacking. Connaughton passes to Holiday. Back to Connaughton. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Curry against Holiday. Curry passes to Green. Higgins outside. It's Curry outside. Another three for Golden State. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Middleton against Green. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And last season, Middleton adding to his game. Played more of a playmaking role. Great assist number one for him. And for Middleton, he is not the primary ball handler, but Greg, he can fill in from time to time. And capable of playing the point forward if needed. Just make smart, simple plays. Great option Take to initiate Take the offense to kind of give you a different look. And that one falls for Middleton. Chris Middleton has worked his way back and come a long way. The former second round pick becoming a consistent starter in the league. The Warriors making a switch here. Weissman's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Even Genzo's checked in. So he gets them both. And Chris Middleton, the longtime Buck, he's been with the team through it all. And where I give Chris Middleton. Oh, oh. Wow. For all the things that Draymond does, when he gets dunks, it makes him even more excitable. Curry against Holiday. And the foul on Drew Holiday. Hold on. That's his first foul. No doubt for me, the offense looks better in the second half. They've been able to dial down those turnovers, and that's been a huge help. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Thompson passes to Wiggins. Thompson the bounce pass. Green taking his time here. Four on the clock. From deep. Thompson misses. 
And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Out to the Kumbo, finds DiVincenzo. Back to Giannis. It's stolen by Weizmann. Curry against Holiday. Curry is inside. And the layup's good off the glass. And now it's a 12-point Warrior lead. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Middleton. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. With nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Here's Wiggins. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Well, we've seen that movie a few That's times, it. haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Middleton. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Andrew Wiggins. At the line for one. That one misses for Wiggins. And Bobby Portis, an interesting talent. He can play back to the basket. He can play one dribble away. And as a stretch five, if they play small, he's able to knock down three. Thompson outside. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Thompson misses. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Down low. Giannis is double to end the cold streak. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from DiVincenzo. Well, we know Bobby Portis, Brent, has bounced around between teams, but as you said, the shooting has been there. The shooting has been there, and that's when he came in to the NBA as a great rebounder, but a great scorer coming in. And now he's finding more confidence in being able to step to the three-point line and let it rip. Here's Middleton. Wiggins with the block. His length gives Wiggins an advantage on the D. He can get his hand to shots that a lot of other players would not be able to impact. The kick out to Adetokounmpo. And the double up Adetokounmpo. Five to shoot. Holiday inside the line. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Warriors leading by 12. Outside curve. That's foul. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. They double team curve. Green finds Wiggins. Thompson for the triple. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Even Genzo with it. Picked up by Thompson. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo. Shoots over Curry. Antetokounmpo, no good. Golden State's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Even Shenzo can't hit it. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. And the three ball is good. And you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. Back to Holiday. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Giannis. Good on the seven-footer. Giannis. Andre DeCumbo's got ten points in just the second half. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Portis, the best to Andre DeCumbo. Giannis is double. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. But you see how Giannis scans the floor. It's actually easy at his size. Involving his guys and showing his ability to pick the defense apart. Not the line for one. One shot. Good. 
Greg, playing most of your career in the 90s, the game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled, but what role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. And I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game and grow. Driving the lane and the wide open shot from Green. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Bucks trail by 12. Now here is Holiday. He kicks it to Middleton. Six to shoot. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on James Wiseman. That's why Middleton gets the respect from the teammates here. Adept at getting to the free throw line and attacking the inside. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Middleton. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Middleton hits them both. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Feeds it to Curl. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Middleton on the wing, guarded by Green. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists tonight. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. A three-pointer, Wiggins down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. Vincenzo against Thompson. Outside Curry. The three-pointer no good. And so onto Dekumba will bring it up for Milwaukee. They trail by nine points. DiVincenzo finds out to Takes a three. And DiVincenzo is good for three. DiVincenzo's got six here in this quarter. After not having a three during the first half, he's made two now, the second half, and he looks hungry for more. Curry passes to Green. Wiggins from outside. Nailed from three-point land. Wiggins has got 15 points here in the second half. Giannis against Green. Onto Takumbo, dishes to Middleton. Puts up a three. Kept alive. Goes back up. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Warriors leading by nine. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And finished up by Weissman. And the passer floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. Hard to get upset at the defense there, but Tentacubo is no easy matchup down low in the paint. Giannis Antetokounmpo at the line for two. Shooting two. free throw is good and that brings them to within 10.
Both free throws good from out of the combo. Timeout called the Warriors. They're leading by nine. 157 left in the fourth. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Drew Holiday. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken. And let's catch up with our shot line reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. Great instincts by Giannis, superb timing, and then he pounced on top of that miss. To the middle, here's Curry. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Stephen Curry, shooting one. That's good from Stephen Curry. What you five. love about Steph right here is just the winning mentality. He's a champion that gives up a lot of his game in order for greater team success. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by 13. We've got 128 left to play here in the fourth. On the Dekumbo against Green. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Stolen by Thompson. 112 left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Green, stolen by Middleton. And Middleton with a clear path to the hoop. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Warriors. The sheer volume of three pointers was the deciding factor tonight, it seemed. Yeah, they, they'd sink one and then they'd do it again. And that strategy did work. And the effort here tonight, adding to the W column for the season, it will go down as their 48th win. Important. With this win, they split the season series at a game of peace and also avoid the sweep. Take a break. And that Take has to be a relief. Two a fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Stephen Curry. And with all these assists, it's obvious how well that he can see the entirety of the floor out there. If an easy bucket is to be had, he'll find it. Middleton hits them both. 59 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Curry. They double team Curry. Here's Weitzman. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's it goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the sheer size of Wiseman is hard to deal with inside, forcing the James defense to Wiseman. compromise with the, the foul. Line for two. Free throw good from Wiseman. Different look here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Draymond Green. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. Tony Snell's checked in for Clay Thompson. And Lee's subbed in for Stephen Curry. And both free throws good for Wiseman. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. It's a 13-point game. Pass to Cousins. We've got 33 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. 
Now here is Hill. George He's guarded Hill. closely. Lays it up off the glass. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. Here's Snell. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball is just moving around. It allows me to play make, and you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots where they're up. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Olk, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.